The Besnard Lakes. What? Yeah. No, do it again. <laughs> Track review, the Besnard Lakes, Golden Lion. Whoa, the Besnard Lakes are a Canadian four-piece indie rock band. And it was formed in 2003 by husband and wife, Jace Lassick and Olga Gorias. It's nice, isn't it? Sweet, very sweet. I was getting some big psychedelic vibes off this track. Very late Beatles. Mm. A lot, a lot of really, I would say it stuff. was like one of the songs off of Thriller by Michael Jackson. It was Billie Jean. The bass line was a slowed down <laughs> Billie Jean. It I mean, you can't copy what is one of the most well-known bass lines in the world and have no one notice this. <laughs> but they did it. You did it. And you know what? I liked it. I mean, it was nice of them to worked. play it. I do like it the song. Great. But, you know, kind of weird. What do you I, think of I'm the only one that's like heard of the band. Prior to this, though, aren't they? You are. Well, this was your choice. Before of we song started this, he thought them. they were called the Bastard Lakes, and I thought they were called the Bernard Lakes. So I, I take it as a strong yes <laughs> that you're the only person who's yeah. heard of them before. <laughs> they're fucking awesome, though. I went and listened to some of their stuff. Oh yeah, they're real good. Yeah, they're cool. As really well. enjoyed it. Yeah, they're real good. Holy shiz! This song is one of the best, though. Sorry. This is from an upcoming EP, right? I thought it was album. No EP. Okay. Yeah. EP. Son of a bitch. EP. I was getting some huge psychedelic vibes in this track. I. I I love the just huge sound of this song. Yeah, yeah. So reverb. It's quite a. Uh, they do quite sh kind of shoegaze in a sense as well. Mm. In the sense that wow, I said in the sense twice. In the sense that there's Three a times. sense of being within Three the times. sense. Right. So, <laughs> which the sixth sense? Or the oh shit, we're getting there. We're getting to the sixth sense. No spoilers. So. Uh, he's dead all along. Such reverb, much wow. Moving on. <laughs> <laughs> the cool. guitar at the beginning was like hypnotic. It was awesome. It was proper, repetitive, psychedelic, awesome stuff. And then it had the sort of small crescendos in it, where it would be going very similar for the same, and it would have a really short, big crescendo, and then it would go back to it. And it did that like twice, and it was awesome. And I really, really loved it. The you best part about his vocals is where he goes like falsetto. He does. He goes really falsetto well. pretty much all the time during this song. Mm, a lot, lot of the time. Like, you know what the, my favourite part of this song was? The verses. The verses were the best. The fir the, if you mean by the verses the bit I was describing, the first two sections where it has the sort of rhythmic stuff. Well, yeah, it's bits. like this rolling beat. Yeah. It just keeps grooving on that, down the street. That bit of the song was so awesome. And then and it, like, changes key. I was even let down by the rest of the song, and I don't think any of the song was let bad. Let down. But I loved the beginning so much that when the end was just good, I was like, oh, I the end, liked it to, like, to last two thirds, I swear, was kind of just the chorus. I played that. Yeah. I swear they played it like two or three times. Yeah, and it wasn't good enough to justify how long it went on because that like end chorus bit went on for. But the song itself so didn't go on that long. No, it, it was like no. less than four minutes. But it only really had sort of two sections. Really, it was like the sort of verse, <laughs> verse. Chorus, then the sort of solo bit, and then just chorus until it ended. Dun, 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 dun. You're gonna get us content ID'd for that. Fuck! <laughs> <You're> right! <laughs> uh, the distorted guitar riff was pretty cool. It was I so like, distorted! I like the fact that it didn't come across as prominent as you would expect, and that's what kind of gave me the kind of shoegaze vibe. Mm. Because although it was like a really distorted guitar with like a really big riff that was coming in you were like this is quite far back in the mix and just kind of it's just sitting there doing its thing it had like levels of distortion on it like it had like a really high end like distorting there and it was distorting on the in the mid range as well i think it like had some it had some bit distortion crush on it. up and down up and down way. the spectrum <laughs> it had all of the distortions on one after the other all of them so what do you think of the way it goes from verse to chorus. I thought it was it, it was weird because it has the big sort of crescendo bits at the end of each sort of section of what we'd call yeah. the verse. And then after the second time it does that, it sort of carries on with that crescendo bit. Mm -hmm. But it sort of doesn't, it sort of is a bit messy. Like it doesn't really have any structure within it. It's just kind of going crazy for a little bit and then goes into the chorus. And I thought it was a bit like, I was like, 
I feel like it was me there a little bit. I'm like, uh, I feel like it was always well structured, but maybe like overly done. Like they were just going a bit too far. They're doing far so much it. to, co- and there's so much to concentrate on. And when you con- it's just all messy, and you're just like, what's happening? What's this bit's happening? And then that's happening. And it's not really doing anything. Mm. And then it goes into the next bit. You're like, okay, there we go. It's into the chorus now. Yeah, I heard someone good, describe but... uh, Lassic as being into maximalism. Which I like I the didn't idea of. I don't understand any of that. Maximalism. It's like minimalism. But the opposite. Yeah, it's like. Classic's it's small... the name of the guy. Right. <laughs> oh, is it? <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay. okay. What the fuck okay. is a lasso? <laughs> it's like. The eye surgery? Yeah. So uh, the lasso was distorting in the wind? <laughs> I think this track really kept you on your toes all the time. It was chopping and changing. Until the end of the chorus. Until the last big section. Oh yeah, but when it goes back into the uh, the verse, and it's just ding, 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 and you're like, oh, I'm here again. <laughs> I'm, I'm lucid but again. But only just like a bit of that. It just goes down for a little bit near the end. It's a shame. I wish they'd done it's a bit more, more stuff that. with that style of stuff, because that was fucking awesome. The problem with this is that I've listened to two of their albums before. Uh, the Besnet and Blakes are the w- Roaring Knight, and the Besnet and Blakes are the Dark Horse, I think it's called. Um, and this is very similar to one of the songs on Are the Roaring Knight. So Don't the, care, but, heard this one, it's good. But <laughs> the problem is that there are a lot of like songs on that album which are better versions of this song. So that this kind of just came across as like, it's the Bez and Blakes, that's like how they sound. Mm-hmm. And when I first listened to them, I was like, that's a really awesome sound. But now I'm listening to this, I'm like, I know what they sound like, and I know it's an awesome sound. James, but you this are... This doesn't explore as much as what they've explored in other You are a golden lion. Yeah? You feel me? Yeah, I didn't really like that lyric. Yeah, I wasn't amazing up on it. It didn't really mean anything. It didn't mean much, did it? It was one of those songs where they were like, we're going to call this song The Golden Lion, Not and then we're going to write a song to that name. The Golden Lion. Anyway, the aesthetic of this track was dreamy as hell. Dreamy as hell, and it was euphoric. Very euphoric. It was like progressive, psychedelic, indie pop. I don't know if you'd agree with that <laughs> statement there. <laughs> yeah. Bit of shoegaze in there, bit of kind of post-rock. I just yeah. want to mention about shoegaze. It's it's second to future for like worst genre name of anything else, or most ridiculous at least. Genre I name. really like it. It's so ridiculous. I think it's amazing. What is the name? <laughs> yeah. I only like it because we have already discussed what yeah the yeah. name comes from, and I like that. I like that also. Check <laughs> out our idea. Deaf Heaven review to see what we think about all that genre. Anyway, Gareth out of ten. Hey, good memory. At the start of this song, with the verses, I wanted to give this like an 8 or a 9. I was loving it. Yep. But I think the end sort of weakens out, and I give it a 7. Maybe a strong 7, but a 7. Okay. What would you give this song? I'm going to give this song a 6. Oh. Just because the song's really good. Yep, yep, yep. But nothing in it is like, wow, the Besnard Lakes are like really... Exploring new ground here. Yeah. Okay. I think okay. if you were to come at it for a first listen, I could give it a seven, maybe an eight if I really pushed it. But I think a seven. But because I've listened to them before and I know what they sound like, I'm going to give it a six. Okay. Well, I'm going to go Gareth and give it a strong seven on this one. Did you give it a strong seven or just a seven? It doesn't, doesn't make any fucking difference, does it? Does it make any fucking difference? Leave a comment and let us know if it makes any fucking difference. Press that like button if you think it makes any fucking difference. And please subscribe to the channel if you think it makes any fucking difference. Thank you very much. (laughs) Goodbye. (laughs) That was a long one. You're a long one. (laughs) I know, right?